Porchuk with Carolinian Canada. I'm an ecologist and we gratefully have received a grant for the Landowner Leaders Program and I'm here with Jeff Hathaway of Scales Nature Park in Aurelia who's an expert on many things including building snake hibernation sites. How's the excavation going? Well the hibernation site's about one-third complete and when the next load of concrete uh, rubble arrives then we'll be able to Completion today. I noticed that the snakes are actually parked up along the, the driveway there waiting to use it. How long do you think before the snakes will be able to move in? Oh, they typically move in within minutes of us finishing, <laughs> clearly. Just like when you put up a birdhouse and the birds are there. Now, I mean, it takes years. It takes years for, for snakes to start using some of these features. They often have to find a new hibernation site as a juvenile and then they'll go back and use that for the rest of their life. So, as new ones disperse into the area and find it, hopefully we'll be able doesn't happen overnight. And Carolinian Canada is 95% privately owned, so without the cooperation of landowners like this, we're really in the dark in terms of recovering nature across the most diverse region of Canada, which stretches from Toronto to Windsor and roughly from Pinery Provincial Park all the way over to Niagara Falls. So it's really critical that we get this cooperation and continue to get funding support for amazing projects like this. It's a pretty great project to be involved with and yeah. they look forward to building more of them in the future. Snakes need a place to get below the frost line in order to hibernate for the winter. So what we've done here is create an artificial snake hibernacula. And so it is a pit that we've dug. We put some small rocks in the bottom to facilitate drainage, especially because the area here is a bit wet. And then the next thing that will go in is actually concrete rubble and we'll place it very carefully so as to create a lot of cavities and void space that the snakes will be able to sit in above the level of the water but still below the frost line. And then up on top we'll have some of this nicer looking rock so that it is a bit nicer to look at than concrete rubble and then we'll backfill some of it around it and use what's left to make a bit of a berm of soil on the northwestern side to shelter it from the prevailing wind and uh, that'll give it a little bit of warmer microclimate in the spring when the snakes need the warmth when they're coming out of hibernation.